this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Bargains. I hope you're having a great Sunday. Today, I would like to do a reading from Jesus Calling, and it is by Sarah Young. It is one of my favorite books, and when I read this today, it really touched me, as usual. It always does, but let me start. I, speaking of God, I am speaking in the depths of your being. Be still so that you can hear my voice. I speak in the language of love. My words fill you with life and peace, joy and hope. I desire to talk with all of my children, but many are too busy to listen. The work ethic has them tied up in knots. They submit wholeheartedly to this taskmaster, wondering why they feel so distant from me. Living close to me requires making me your first love, your highest priority. As you seek my presence above all else, you experience peace and joy in full measure. I also am blessed when you make me first in your life. While you journey through life in my presence, my glory brightens the world around you. And this is talked about in Psalm 119, verse 64, Isaiah 50, verse 4, Isaiah 60, verse 2, and Revelation 2, verse 4. And if I think if, if the way that I, this is just my opinion, when I look around today, and this includes myself, sometimes you do get caught up in things and you are so overwhelmed and so tired and it's like well, where did the day go or I'm just so busy there's not enough hours in the day and you don't go to him I do I do have a practice and it works for me is every night I go into my bedroom I have showered all of that and everything my husband is still watching TV and I sit down with my Bible and my one-on-one -on -one with God and that has really worked for me it's like that certain time is put aside for God and his presence and our conversation and my reading of the Bible. The other thing that has helped me, and I'm just saying this is for me, um, there is a minister on TV by the name of Andy Wood, W-O-O-D. He's on YouTube. And this man is so smart, so intelligent about the Bible. And one of the things that really has helped me to understand a lot of parts of the Bible is him, Andy Wood. He has taken the Bible and broken it down by books of, and right now I'm studying Revelation, and he takes each chapter and each verse one by one by one and goes over it and this has helped me so much but I will tell you I do research other areas and get more opinions and their thoughts uh, and so far Andy Wood has really just boom he, he has been on it 
I have enjoyed uh, studying Revelation so much because that was way over my head, way over. So if you are one that says, listen, yeah, I talk to God, but I can't, I can't do the Bible. I just can't understand it. I don't go to church. Check out Andy Wood and go, I mean, you can go to the actual books of the Bible, whether it's the Old Testament or New Testament, and see what he has put out there and get a Bible and go verse by verse. And I just will tell you that man has really helped me. The other person is Amir uh, to Safari. Safari, he uh, has a YouTube channel. He's also on Telegram. He is from Israel. And of course, if you study the Bible, uh, the Jews are God's people and Israel is God's land. And it has helped me understand so much about Israel. And if you believe in the end times and of Revelation, wow. And look at, he brings up today with Bible prophecy, as does Andy Wood, by the way. And you will be very, if, if you are not a Bible reader and you want to take this information that I've just passed on to you and help you with the Bible, you will be so surprised at how today is with Bible prophecy and where we are in that area. Just something to think about. I'm just saying, for me, it has helped me. And I really like the way that they say religion is not the whole meaning. It is a relationship with God that is the meaning. And going to church does not get you into heaven. No. So, understanding the Word of God is crucial, especially in today's times. And again, just my opinion, I hope that you have enjoyed this and have a very blessed day.